Okay, here we are approaching the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York for a hearing in the case of U.S. versus Patrick Ho. It's a U.N. bribery case in which the China Energy Fund Committee, an NGO still accredited to U.N. ECOSOC, still unaudited by Antonio Guterres, the corrupt Secretary General, stands accused of paying bribes to PGA Sam Kutessa as well as the president of Chad, as well as now brokering arms or offering to broker arms to South Sudan, Libya. Shocking, shocking. Violate sanctions. This is what Antonio Guterres refuses to clean up and is willing to throw the press in the street to continue doing business with. But we'll have a report after the hearing. The trial was to have begun on November 5th, but it's getting pushed back because Patrick Ho wants to bring in Belt and Road, China's by Africa, by Czech Republic plan and scheme. Now, I had to, did an interview with Hong Kong Television recently about it. I don't know when they're going to air it, but um, again, many countries pay bribes. Our, one of our focuses is on the failure of the UN to clean itself up and the strange and ambiguous position of Antonio Guterres, whose son does business in African countries undisclosed. These bribes in Africa to be continued. Okay, here we are. It's uh, Monday, October 22nd, and in the case of U.S. versus Patrick Ho, U.N. bribery case, Sam Kutessa, no audit by Guterres, who just attended the hearing and taken some notes. Uh, the, he the trial has now been postponed. Hang on, let's do this in stand-up style. Why not? Why not? Um, it was pretty fast. In and out, although I will give you some, in some color of the, the judge and whatnot. The uh, new trial date is November 26th. Um, there are various motions pending, uh, motions in limine, uh, filings under the Confidential Information Protection Act, SIPA, um, foreign law, um, reciprocal discovery. On that, there's supposed to be 3,300 emails, and although the defense tried to say there's no more, the government said there might be more, but they're turning them over um, as they receive them. They're in a, with an outside vendor, and they might be new emails until the very day of trial. Uh, Judge Preska uh, said, let's get this resolved so we can start on time. She doesn't want to hear, quote, whining around Thanksgiving. So she, she tried to speed everything up, all filings, uh, to get the case on track. Uh, time is still excluded under the Fair Trial Hiding Act. Yes, the organ, the, I'm, I'm reading a comment here from a viewer, and I will tell you that the UN is totally corrupt. Not only have they now had three PGAs in a row that were receiving bribes, uh, but the current Secretary General, perhaps worst of all, has refused to even do an audit of this one. At least under Ban Ki-moon and Inglap saying they did an audit and they found some additional stuff, including of the Department of Public Information, Christina Gayach, the then head. This time, no audit because they don't want to know who's receiving China Energy Funds Committee, co Fund Committee's money because it's still, in it's still accredited to EcoStock. They still go in the building. Bags of cash. Antonio Guterres is corrupt. And we believe that, among other things in this trial, that will further be revealed. Okay, to be continued. We'll be writing a story on these copious notes.